Corner, which is Stephanie Kirby Rowley. And today, we're going to be doing the second installment of our three-part special entitled Giuseppe's Thanksgiving Side Dish Specials. Now, naturally, this one is going to be the healthiest. What we've got today is the Kirby Rowley Classic Broccoli Pie. That looks like we're at the Bocce restaurant. I know, impressive. Okay, so what you're going to need in terms of ingredients are the following. You're going to need six cups of chopped broccoli. We're going to do the chopping ourselves. Two cups of Bisquick pancake and waffle mix. One cup of Parmesan cheese. One cup of oil. Eight eggs and two dashes of parsley. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate this honor. So what you're going to need in terms of hardware is the following. You're going to need some kind of measuring cup or bowl in which to measure six cups of broccoli. Then you're going to need a large mixing bowl. You're going to need a knife to cut up your broccoli and a cutting board on which to cut up your broccoli. Finally, you're going to need a tin to put it all in at the end. As always, step number one, wash your hands. Go ahead and turn your water on, stick your mitts under them, rub them around a little bit, splash some of that water off. Now that your hands are all nice and moist, apply some soap to them. Two squirts is what I prefer. Rub it all around you. The back, the knuckles, in between the fingers, up your arms if you want. You can even get your stomach if you were so inclined. Go ahead and wash all that good soap off of you now. Excellent. Now you can dry your hands. Go ahead and grab a towel, get your arms, Get your hands, get your stomach if you feel so inclined, and you're done. Cut. A little comedy in there? I think that bit will play well. I hope so. Okay, now that you're all nice and clean everywhere, we're going to start on step number two. Step number two is going to be cutting up your broccoli. Go ahead and inspect your broccoli crowns or florets, whatever you have. You're going to need a total of six cups. Now that, for those who don't know, is a lot of broccoli. This is going to be the longest step of the entire recipe. You're going to cut up all this broccoli into little itty bitty bits and put it in this bowl. Alright, so take your knife, unsheath it, grab your broccoli, start cutting. Cut off little bits here and there, and we'll cut them down smaller later. You want to get the big stem bit off as quickly as you can. Alright, tell you what you don't need, this bit. Not good for you at all. Go ahead, throw that out. Then you can start by hand breaking up your broccoli. Cut it up smaller, break it up some more. Keep breaking it up. You want little bits of broccoli. Alright, now your broccoli is all chopped. Six cups of it. Now we're on to step three. It's going to be preheat your oven. Go ahead, look at your oven device. You're going to want to set it to bake 350 degrees and start it. This is important. You're not going to be able to cook if your oven isn't hot. All right, now that your oven's preheated and your broccoli's chopped, we're on to step number four, which is going to be combining your other ingredients. With the exception of your broccoli and your parsley, what you're going to do in this large mixing bowl is combine your two cups of bisquick, your eight eggs, 
your cup of parmesan and your cup of oil. Now that they're all in your bowl, grab yourself a fork and start mixing. sauce and batter. Mix it all up nice like. Make sure you get it off the sides. Mix all the broccoli in there. It's going to be looking a little something like this. Then go ahead and take your two pinches of parsley and sprinkle them in there. Just kind of, I'm plopping them in there, but what are you going to do? Sprinkle, plop, dash, Adorn, whatever verb you like. Go ahead and mix that in now. Doesn't really change the appearance of the mixture, so it's still going to look like this, but it'll slightly impact the taste. And once you're confident your mixture is fully mixed, then you are finished with step five. Alright folks, now we're on to step number six. Go ahead and grab some cooking spray or oil on a paper towel or, I don't know, whatever you need and you're going to grease the pan. Little shake around here, little spritz around there. Make sure you get on the sides. You don't want this to stick to the pan. Ta-da! You're done with this. Now that you got your pan all greased, you're going to go ahead and Add your batter. This is called step number seven. Go ahead and take your mixture like so and evenly place it into the table. If you don't place it in evenly, just plop it in like I did and then spread it out. You want a nice even mixture within your tin. Now it's going to rise a little bit so I got a tin with some higher edges. Go ahead and to the best of your ability, scrape out whatever's in here. I might, I might upgrade some of this. Scrape out. Go ahead and get like a, go ahead and upgrade like a professional scraper. What makes it professional? The four years of med school the scraper went through. If you get some on your shirt, don't worry, it'll come out. Well, you get as much of this out as you can. We're going to need all of it. Beautiful. You're done with step number seven. Now before we start step number eight, you may have noticed I put some water on my shirt so the stain wouldn't set. Step number eight, you're gonna take your broccoli pie in the tin and throw it in your oven so it can cook. Go ahead and open your oven door, take your broccoli pie, stick it inside, close the door, and now you're gonna wait for 40 minutes. 6.53 is when we're going to check this. Our broccoli pie has been in the oven for about 43 minutes. I'm going to check on it, make sure it's looking good, and if it is, I'll take it out. Go ahead and open your oven. Grab your pot holder so you don't burn your hand. Pull your pie out and put it on the counter. You can go ahead and close your oven as well. Now to see if it's done, take a fork or a toothpick, but I prefer a fork, and stick it into the thickest part of the pie, which is nine times out of 10, the center. Stick it in. If it comes out clean, no uh, batter on it, then your pie is cooked 
all the way through, and you are finished. Now that our broccoli pie is out of the oven, it's cooled a little bit, we're ready to move on to the final step, plating. Go ahead and take some plates out, throw them on the counter. A little here, a little there, spread them out, make sure you got a good smattering of plates. And then take your handy dandy spatula and cut into your broccoli pie. I recommend cutting it in a grid, kind of like brownies. Then get underneath it and serve it. Okay, that was the Creamy Rolly Classic Broccoli Pie. I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you for watching the video and all the views and likes and subscriptions. If you have something you want to see on the show, let me know either directly or you can comment on the video. Uh, what else? Stay tuned for the final installment of my three-part uh, mini-series on side dishes for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, thank you, and bye-bye uh, now.